LCB was launched in April 2011, specializing in arranging professional indemnity insurance for freelancers, independent consultants, small consultancies. Being a very small company, we're about 20 people, um, we're up against very big competitors, companies that are much, much larger than us, and um, we have to do more than just advertise. We have to be a presence on the, on, on the internet. Um, and it, that involves having a personality. What does, what does having a personality mean? What does communicating that personality mean? There is the expression that if you want to know about your personality, listen to what people say about you after you've left the room, um, which is difficult because you don't dare to hear it. But in business, your personality could be defined as what people say about you or think about you after they've finished an interaction with you, after they've left your website, they've purchased some insurance, or um, after they've finished a telephone call, any kind of interaction. And from our point of view, uh, at Policy B, the personality really is, it's, it's more than brand, it's more than your values, it's more, it's, it's a combination of those factors, the service that you provide, and the, most importantly, in many ways, from our point of view, the people that, um, that are working um, for, for, for Policy B. Um, it's about the people. We've all phoned call centers, um, large companies, scripted um, agents, unable to express themselves, and you ain't getting much idea of personality from that experience. So as a small company, we can offer something different. Um, and so we want to be as personal as we can, friendly, talking our customers' language, um, speaking to them about insurance, non-jargon, in a way that makes sense to them. It's what we're looking at here, if you can see it, is our Twitter homepage. And um, the line here says, an insurance broker, but don't let that put you off. So what we're trying to do is, in, even in that small phrase, just express something of our personality um, and the informality with which we're trying to approach things. And Twitter is, um, is, 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 is a very useful um, outlet for us, a very useful form of being able to communicate for us. Not necessarily for everybody, but our target market, our demographic, is very much in that Twitter environment, freelancers, independents, um, uh, contractors, and so on. So if we're going to be on Twitter, it's important that we listen and look at what people are, are, are saying about us. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, this is a Hootsuite um, desktop, and enables us to follow um, feeds from Twitter, see what people are saying about us, what they're saying about uh, insurance, what they're saying about um, our comp uh, what our competitors, what they're saying about our competitors, and and um, it gives us the opportunity to dive in when we see someone asking about insurance. And for those of you who can't read it, this is a photographer who says he's looking for insurance. Zoe's um, jumped in, says, "Can we help?" There's been continued conversation, and that particular chap ended up as a customer. Now, the interesting thing is, from our point of view, that uh, Twitter isn't just about the, um, isn't about the positives. Here's a guy who says, unsolicited email from Policy B, plus anti-pattern unsubscribe, equals Mark has spam, i.e. he's been pissed off with one of our emails. And, um, <laughs> and um, Vicky has um, replied, oh no, not the spam pile. Our intentions were not to be spammy, apologies for appearing so, you're now unsubscribed. Great, problem solved. Well, then he comes back to us and says, don't make me put my email address in if I'm going to unsubscribe. I don't blame him. It's really frustrating when you have to do that. So he so said, just unsubscribe, unsubscribe them when they click the link. So we actually respond to that very quickly. We change the process, as he suggests, and said, thank you for pointing it out. And then he says, um, no problem. Where do I send my invoice? <laughs> and then Nick, who's sitting over there, says, "Nice try, mate." But <laughs> so it kind of it kind of um, encapsulates the kind of conversation that you can have online. And um, 
the, 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 the beauty of it is that um, uh, this guy's got followers, and so this, this is a very public kind of conversation. And hopefully, something of our personality is coming across in that. Um, now, we do some things um, that are uh, non-digital. So I've come to talk about digital personality, but uh, here's a lady and she says, how nice is my insurance company? Policy B treats, that's what I call customer service. And what she's done is she's taken a photograph of a thank you card that we actually sent her and some chocolate beads that we sent her. And um, so we've kind of gone back to the old fashioned way of doing things as well as, as, as well as digital in the hope that people may well open a letter when they won't open your, their, their, their email. And um, so here's a quick example, the kind of card, the handwritten and, and, and the chocolate beads. And another lady, sorry, let me bore you with these, but another lady, thank you for the chocolate bees, I'm enjoying them now. Now this lady's actually organized them to a formation <laughs> and taken a photograph. And the, the beauty of this is that this is kind of free publicity for us. Um, we calculate that uh, with our followers, um, we're potentially reaching, potentially reaching, I say, an audience of about half a million. If, we, if, if, if all of our followers tweeted to all of their followers, we could be reaching an audience of something like half a million, which again for a small company is something we couldn't afford to do in, a, in, in, a, in any other way. Um, on our website, we do try and keep the personal touch going with offers that are relevant to our target audience, um, uh, a lot of whom are startups. So here's an uh, um, arrangement we came to with Moo Cards and a company called Moo, they do printing and so on free business cards. I think, I think the point is that people say nice things about us because they've been so pleasantly surprised that buying insurance can be a pleasant experience. Um, FIFO, I don't know who's, who may have heard of FIFO, it stands for Feedback Forum. Um, I discovered uh, FIFO about four years ago and after I'd made an online purchase I received an email saying, what did you think of your experience? And I thought this was great. And it's a very simple way of completing a survey. A uh, customer can mark you uh, bad, poor, good, excellent, and they have the opportunity to put some, some comments in as well. Um, the, the, what I like about it is it fits with our values, it fits with our personality, because it's totally transparent, so if someone's saying something bad about us, it'll be shown up there. We don't delete, we can't, we can't delete, we can't edit. The, the, the comments, but we do get the chance to respond, and I think it shows that we're human, that we can make mistakes, and that we'll we'll fix those mistakes. We're we're we're, we're not ashamed of um, holding our hands up and being willing to listen and learn. And this particular chap said, um, "I've requested twice now an invoice for my insurance purchase." This was not received with my certificate, and I have not even been given the courtesy of a reply, and more, more importantly, an invoice. Well, we didn't send out invoices in those days. Um, anyhow, we've responded, we've set up a process to send out invoices, we apologized. It was a valid point on his part, I feel. There had been a glitch, but by responding, he actually gave us a positive, um, he went back to FIFA and gave us a positive uh, comment um, uh, afterwards.